everybody and welcome back to Zoll School Gamer here. We're back again with another video game collection today. This is my NES collection. It is not too big of a collection. It's not even 10 games. It's just a little collection. So, you know. Not too much. I haven't been collecting for too long. Lighting is bad. I, please excuse me for that. For the bad lighting and whatnot. I got a jacket on. A DGK jacket. Because it's kind of cold in here. It's the only jacket I got. But yeah, so we're going to get it off here, kick it off. I'm on a nice little Super Mario Bros. and the Duck Hunt. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. <coughs> Alright. Now we're going to have a little better lighting here. There we go. Now we got some lighting. Alrighty guys. Here we go. First game here is going to be Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt. Together. If you never played Mario, it's just a side-scroller platformer, you know, you run around, save the princess. Hunt, Duck Hunt, you use a nice little Nintendo Zapper, which is a gun. Kill the birds as soon as you can, as soon as they pop up. So yeah. I haven't played it yet. This one at least. I played that one. I didn't grow up with the NES, so please don't, please excuse me for not playing most of these games. I don't even own a NES. I own a little runoff little NES thing. I don't know. It's just a little console that can play NES games, but it's not a NES console. So, you know. Yeah. <coughs> so next up is Wheel of Fortune. You guys, if you're, uh, if you guys have seen my older videos, my very first one actually, this was in it, my video game, my crappy video game pickup, episode one. This was in it, along with, um, my Wheel of Fortune Super Nintendo boxed and sealed, along with that. So yeah, it's Wheel of Fortune. Pretty much just guess the word or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to explain Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Sorry. And then next, I guess we'll do Dr. Mario. It came with a nice little case. I got it at Game Exchange. It's somewhat sort of like Tetris, but not really. You know, so yeah, it's Dr. Mario. It's in really good condition, actually. Except for that writing there, but yeah, it's in really great condition. In my opinion. Little, little messed up here, but that's all. So you know, yeah. And Dr. Mario for you. <coughs> I played that one on the Super Nintendo when I was a kid. I never played this version. But my cousin has. He also he also owns a copy of it, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Alright, and the next up is going to be The Legend of Zelda, the Gold Cartridge. I do not own the Great Cartridge. I've ran across it a few times, but I was like, no, I don't want it since I already own this one. And there's a few other games there that I don't own that I would rather own except that. So, you know, this is the gold cartridge. It, it says a lot different from all the other Zeldas that we are all used to. You know, it's very shiny. Very shiny. Yeah, it just kind of throws you off in this one area. There's a cave up at the top left. You go there, you get a sword and whatnot, then you, then you're on your own. You gotta find your way around on your own. You pretty much gotta make a map, your own map, you know, just to get around. Like, get a piece of paper, pencil, pen, whatever, make a map, okay? You just make a map. Yeah. And this still has some sticker residue on it weird because I bought this game like two years ago or somewhat. This was also on my very first video. Two, this is Sesame Street 1, 2, 3. Uh, Astro Grover and Ernie's Magic Shapes. So yeah. I did not play this one because I did not know how to get to it. So yeah, but I did play that one. Not fun. 
Not fun at all. I don't even remember what it was like, but it was not fun. It was in my crappy video game pickup. I was into buying crappy games, so yeah. I bought a lot of them over the years. So yeah. We got three more games left here. Right there. Not going to show you any of them. Yeah, but next, you might remember this from just a few videos before I got it from Retropalooza. It is TMNT Ninja Turtles. I still haven't played it, actually, because I can't find my runoff Nintendo car console, so yeah. And I haven't, I didn't, I haven't borrowed my cousins either. I haven't tried it on there. I did emulate it and try it, but it was pretty hard. And plus, I didn't like using a PlayStation controller to play a regular, a original Nintendo game. It felt kind of weird, in my opinion. But yeah, but this is Ninja Turtles. Got it for like five bucks, I think. Yeah, not too much. But yeah. Hell yeah. Fucked up. <laughs> I accidentally opened it somehow. Okay. I accidentally opened it. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. This is Taboo Six Sense. Pretty much tells your future. I think there's only literally five minutes of gameplay of it. I was literally able to put. All of this game onto my very first video because this is also my first video. And I put the gameplay, a full playthrough of this fucking game, on that 10 minute fucking video. This game isn't even 5 minutes long. Literally. It is stupid. I paid 2 bucks for it, I think. 3 bucks maybe. Maybe 5. I don't know how much I paid for it, but yeah. It is shit. I only recommend buying it. To have it for a collection. So yeah. Von Video Game Exchange. 916. Oh wow, that's in fucking California. Wow, this game came all the way from California. Check that out. Can't check it out. But yeah, whatever. That's Taboo Six Cents. And then the last one is one of my favorite games it is actually the first game i have ever completed in the series and it is final fantasy one this was a really good game but this one is the hardest version out of all of them because this literally just throws you out in the open no fucking directions no nothing like when you hit like when you go into that first town there on, I was playing it on the tablet when I first played it. When you go into the first town on the tablet, guards block off all the exits on the tablet. When you first enter that first area, so the only way to leave is to literally talk to one of those guards and go see the king. But in this one, you go into the town and you can literally walk in and walk right the fuck out. And it's like, you can literally not know what the fuck you're doing like it doesn't tell you shit to where to go or what to do or anything but yeah but it is still one of the best games in my opinion i like it i like it a lot but hell yeah i want to get it complete so bad oh and there's one more game still give me one second I actually have this one complete. Almost. There is no manual though. But this is called... Cubert. The box is in very beat up condition. But for five bucks, you can't pass up a boxed Nintendo game at all for five bucks. Even if it's in this bad a condition. But still. <clears throat> the color is faded. It looks like it's been out in the sun for a few days. You know, it's been getting a nice little tan going on and shit. <clears throat> a nice big ass sticker res residue here from what I just noticed. And see, this is what it's supposed to look like 
orange, and then he's pink. You see that color difference? Yeah. Pretty crazy. But yeah. But alrighty, guys. That is about... Look at all that. Cute Fun game. I like it. But yeah, but I guess that is about it for this video, guys. Got my Nintendo collection here. It's a total of how many? Two, four, six, nine games. Nine games in total. So yeah, I got a very small collection. <coughs> and there are over 800 games in the US for the NES that came out during its lifetime. So yeah, a lot of games to collect for. I don't plan on collecting for it too much as other people would. I got Hey! <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, but I'm probably not going to collect for it in this console as much as other people would, mainly because I didn't grow up with it or anything. I'm trying to complete a I'm trying to complete my Dreamcast collection. I just actually printed out a whole list of Dreamcast games and all the highlighted here are all the rare and games that I just want. You know, games that I just want to have in my collection, games that I like, and also rare games that I know of. But yeah, well that's about it for the day, guys. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you want. I don't know. But yeah, as always, have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. And as always, keep it old school, and I'll catch you guys in the next video or stream. Later. And on the streams, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream at all here for the next while, because my computer's kind of shitting on me. I don't know what's up with it. It's not letting me stream at all, so yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you guys made it this far, say, I like to shit on Nintendo. Yeah, say that. And if you don't like to cuss, say, I like to poop on Nintendo or something, okay? So yeah, if you made it this far in the video, say that. Later.